Hello, my name is Jeffrey Gatza. I'm really glad that you decided to come on out for our online poetry reading event at AWP Boston 2013. I'm going to finish out the program tonight by reading a couple of poems from my book, uh, The House of Forgetting. Thank you very much. Seventeen hundred hours. The blank slate of her life is filled with nonsense, inverted and naked. Enlightened in thought burdens of the past, forgotten ideas set in stone. In these hermetic mists, empty words vanish thinly in her mouth. A cyclical narrative of perspective seeking out a denouement, a dynamo of consent. There's nothing more to say. We can go no further in the pale story we want once we have reached the end. All that is left is to put the book down, place it back on its shelf, and begin remembering what was written. Her memories begin clearing out her mother's house. Bleak packing crates, old newspapers, softening furnitures, hard blows, and improper storage with that day's events. Time stamped to always remember the events leading up to the day we put in the cellar her pink carnival glass candy dish, along with the other bits of life too provoking to discard, the banal effects of the dead, sloughed off skin, a mountain, a shell of a conch on the ocean floor, waiting for another, younger conch to come create a home in the safe pink shells. 1800 hours. Her dark hair is a tangled thicket of possibility, a mad woman of the woods, a queen of trees, a murmuration of starlings lost to the exultation of the moment, a lighting towards the moon, struck dumb with love, hushed in place, a snowstorm. Claire bears her specter wings open to nothing, to white doorways leading her feet into rooms, housing the shreds of ordinary human existence. A drowsy future embodied in her visions of sleep cannot now remember the unkindness they retain. Her shape is malleable to her cerulean mood, words discovered as wellsprings of flowing shrewdness, a parliament of self-governance, ghost dances, her reception ballet, a lost monarchy of banishing perfections performed for mannequins. A coronet of equal moral autonomy rings false, an untrue clang, a hollow note her mind discerns, plucking out as times tables, recalling the chords of peerless sounds hanging in the sparking Googleplex of living words, the life sentences of the long dead. A fleeting success inoculated against the aphrodisiac of supreme power, the holy vertigo of consciousness, her age of impervishment, nourished in requiems, oaths, and magic charms, stories of intrigue spelling her far away, over walls of her upbringing as her song fades. What can grief achieve that the, what can grief achieve that the orient words of failure cannot? Limitations define us everyone in associative nightmare of visions. Beauty is the core of the anesthetic that quells painful outrages. How can we all still be alive after all that we have lived through? 2300 hours. Claire could not live in a place where she died. Her pleasure, her beauty is a peace, a love found in music and words, afterthoughts. This was is a comfort, glad if that is the word, for her to have died without knowing loss. The taking, the surviving, needed in old age, forgetting, we are all the same, we are one, we are all good, we are all bad. The time I pass alone is hard, we are a miracle, a blessing, old age is experience, something to compare. No longer curious about the world, we listen with our brain. Experience, compare, 
time and passing moments. I did my duty. I did my best. When I could, I survived. Survived. So we could live. So we die. When we achieve, our time, when it comes, will be beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you.